So, my very first ever Mario Kart was Mario Kart Wii. I mean, I also had a DS at the time, and I probably had Mario Kart DS on it. But yet, I always feel like Mario Kart Wii was the very first ever gamer experience. It never really felt like Mario Kart Wii was the best title to me, but it does have a really good place in my heart, being the very first ever console Mario Kart I ever played, and one of the Mario Kart games that I actually had a console for. You know, I mean, Mario Kart Wii was on the Wii that I also had Mario Galaxy and Mario Bros. Wii for. So, I kind of like that I had a racing game that had my Nintendo characters that I love. Well, just a short time later, whenever the Wii U came out and I had it, Mario Kart 8 also came out the same time I got the Wii U. In you, I am not trying to copy Nintendo Capri Sun, nor am I trying to copy Ego Raptor's sequelity videos or sequelitis videos. This is just simply just me trying to give voice to my opinion. So hence why it's called Faker Sequelitis. You know, Mario Kart Wii's uh, selection screen is actually pretty cool. Using driver's license and, you know, I just think that's cool. I wonder what Mario Kart 8's looks like. <laughs> now, do I think that this intro or whatever is bad? No. But I don't really think that the presentation of the beginning is as good as the Mario Kart Wii intro. If you kind of get what I mean. You pick something that's actually pretty cool in the beginning. Now, it just, oh, go into a race. And by Mario Kart graphic, like, you know, how the game actually looks, I really think that Mario Kart 8 is the better one. Not just because it's on the HD console, but compare this to this. You probably think that uh, Mario Kart 8 is way better than, you know, Mario Kart Wii. But... Of course, I think that the game before it double dash looks better than the With the style that Mario Kart Wii has, I can't really know what it's going for. Now you see, it's like some kind of, it's like filled with gold and kind of brownish vibes and like, it just feels so weird. I don't know why they went with this style when the beginning's all white and kind of colorful. And like the buttons are this, these colors. And I already talked about the, um, the bad, the licenses that you get. But also I can kind of see why they got rid of them. Because, you know, what's the point of having those whenever you can literally just have all the characters unlocked in a single file. And I feel like that's a better way of doing it. And I just feel like removing the driver's license as a whole is just a weird thing to do. Like, why can't you just have driver's license in it, but, like, as just one startup? Like, you know, you, like, each one you select is a different type of driver's license. But I kind of also see why they got rid of having individual ones, because, you know, you probably want to have all your characters unlocked in a different save file. With Mario Kart 8's intro and all that, as I said, it's not my favorite, as it just kind of went back to the basic, oh, just select and whatever. I feel like they could have had, like, a garage kind of set up, but, again, I kind of see why they didn't, because, you know, they kind of want to play a little bit safe on it. But anyways, as the presentation is, it's okay. I kind of understand the style they're going for, they're kind of showing off, like, the different cups in the background, but I don't see, like, why in it, you know, like, in the background, it's like a blurry image of people racing, and you can kind of tell it's, like, different tracks and everything, and I feel like it would be a lot better if they did that. Another thing about the presentation is I like how it looks, it looks extremely good, it looks a lot better than Wii, as I said, I prefer... 
the GameCube version just because I like the GameCube a lot more. But I understand, like, I think this does look extremely great. And I even think that Mario Bros. Uh, uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe looks good as well. But I'm not including it because, you know, it's uh, kind of like DLC in some way. But you can also see, like, the the different things are, like, badges. And I think they also did that with Wii. I gotta, probably got to go back and check real quick. But, you know, it looks great. And I like how it's... And even, like, the loading screen is really cool. The Wii's just... It gets into the race. But, like, the loading screen on uh, the <laughs> 8... Keep wanting to call it Wii U, but on 8, it looks extremely good. Now, character rosters are kind of a main stand of Mario Kart. You know, back then, there was only four characters. Now we have all these other characters. And a lot of characters in this game are pretty cool. Especially Funky Kong. Yet, I feel like this, this, I think that Wii has a lot more characters and more variety than Mario Kart 8. Now, as you can tell, there's a lot of characters, but yet, most of them are either clones of other characters, baby versions, or something else of the other sort. Pink Gold Peach, the Koopalings, and, you know, all these other characters. They take up too much slots. And I feel like them removing a lot of characters, Birdo, Diddy Kong, Funky Kong, is just really upsetting. <laughs> Content in Mario Kart is a little confusing to talk about, honestly. As it feels like whenever you do talk about cut content, people go into battle mode. Battle mode in Mario Kart Wii cut a lot of stuff out. You can't remove the time limit. And when you get lose all your balloons, you just come back. This is totally nerve-wracking. Not nerve-wracking, but totally mind-numbing. As you see, you have all these other characters, you know, like if... You hit them, they won't go out, they'll just come back, because, you know, they let this happen, you know. And, like, I know in Mario Kart DS, they let you have other balloons. But, speaking of Mario Kart DS, they cut the mission mode, which felt so great that we had a mission mode. Um, they also cut some characters. I believe they, they cut it out Birdo, I know that. I believe Dry, uh, PD Piranha actually was kicked out as well. But, you know, they also added in some new characters. So, you know, that, that's always a good thing. They added some new characters. They added in, as I said, Funky Kong, Diddy Kong. Um, they also added in other characters that are very cool, you know. And I feel like this game did cut a lot of content. And, um... I'll get into items later, but they also cut out the coin, which a lot of people think that's like, huh, we won't miss that, but, you know, miss it or not, it's coming back. And I'll tell you more about that when we get into items. Mario Kart 8 has also cut out a lot of content, you know, mission mode, all that stuff. But the biggest thing that they actually kind of brought back was, if you died and lose all your balloons, you're out. You can't come back. But they also uh, kept in the time limit, which very, very confusing. Um, I also feel like in this one, they also cut out a lot of characters, as I said before. But they also brought in some new items, which we'll be getting into after our, my next point that I need to bring up. Mario Kart 8's tracks, I believe, are the better tracks, as, you know, 
there are a lot more retro tracks and a lot of newer tracks that are really cool and I believe that these <laughs> you can technically just play these levels and you can have like a lot of fun with them and they and also with the paraglider being in this one I feel like you can have a lot more you know interesting remakes of these retro tracks so hence why I believe Mario Kart 8 has the better tracks but let's move on over to Mario Kart Wii's tracks as I said I believe Mario Kart 8's tracks are a lot better than Mario Kart Wii's but that's not dissing Mario Kart Wii tracks at all I believe that Mario Kart Wii tracks are really really interesting and are a lot better than what other tracks are some tracks of course now they actually um, in battle mode they actually kind of separate the tracks and I feel like that's pretty unique you know like they don't they have just normal tracks and now they have retro tracks I don't know if that was the first time it was ever shown on a home console Mario Kart but to me it's definitely unique and to be honest it does kind of bump them up some points but yet I still believe that uh, Mario Kart's Wii I mean, Mario Kart 8's tracks are a lot better than Mario Kart Wii tracks because of the paraglider being so new and showing so much more innovation to it and, like, remaking it. The items that you can actually get in Mario Kart Wii are as followed. Banana, Blooper, ba -bomb, Bullet Bill... Double Mushroom, Fake Item Box, Golden Mushroom, Green Shell, the Fake Item Box, I think I already said that, but anyways, uh, Lightning, Mega Mushroom, Mushroom, Pow Block, Red Shell, Shells, Spiny Shells, Star, Thundercloud, Triple Bananas, Triple Green Shells, Triple Mushrooms, Triple Red Shells. Now, those are all pretty interesting items. But items that got cut in the next one was the, I believe, the Pow Block, the, uh, the Mega Mushroom, and the, uh, Lightning Cloud. Because the Lightning Cloud was the worst power-up in the entire game, yet the blooper was actually in Mario Kart DS. But now the blooper is in every Mario Kart, so, uh... Uh, sorry Nathaniel Bandy, but uh, looks like it's going to stay here for a while. For Mario Kart 8, we have Green Shells, Triple Green Shells, Red Shell, Triple Red Shells, Bananas, Triple Bananas, Mushroom, Triple Mushrooms, Golden Mushroom, Fire Flower, Star, Blooper, Bob Bomb, Spiny Shell, Lightning, Bullet Bill, Boomerang Flower, uh, Piranha Plant, Super Horn, and Crazy 8. I feel like Mario Kart 8 has the better items just because of Super Horn alone that can actually blow away the Spiny Shell. Also, and uh, the other ones that you get is also a coin, which as we all know, doesn't do anything really. It also feels like you do have a lot more of a vast majority of the items, especially with the Crazy 8, which is technically like the Crazy 7 from Mario Kart 7. So, yeah, I really do think Mario Kart 8 gets another victory. But you gotta wait till the end to know my entire opinion. But we have one more thing to go over.
which game's better, in my opinion? I have to say the Wii U, aka Mario Kart 8, is way, way better. Only because of the controllers. That, like, you do get a lot of controllers. And I know, like, you can't use the GameCube one. And it also has really good item balancing. I think it looks a lot better. But for really just crazy fun and more diverse characters and all that, I think Mario Kart Wii gets it.